Greetings and salutations, friends. This is Nikki from Midlife Adulting. Welcome if you are new, and thank you so much for deciding to click on this video to watch. And welcome back if you are returning and wanted to see my second attempt at cleaning off my desk. And honestly, it's not an attempt. It is an actual cleaning, but I don't know. I'm just going to call it my second attempt. So I am deep in the midst of step one for cleaning off my desk and that is taking everything off and making piles on the ground. I don't know that this is particularly any style of cleaning, although I know Marie Kondo with the magic of tidying up, was that the name of that book? I believe. Um, recommends, you know, pulling all of one type into one space and then deciding what to do with it. So I'm making easy decisions now, like this is an important document, this is something I'm going to keep but I don't know what I want to do with it, this is something that I'm going to keep and it's going back on my desk, etc. I'm making those kind of easy choices right now. And as you can see, I am chucking things ruthlessly. My desk ends up getting clean and then is a depository for other items. I just I love me a clean surface to drop random things on and deal with later. I really need to don't put it down, put it away. And at one point that was my slogan for the year, this year or last year. But it didn't take, as you can tell by the state of my desk. I have computer parts in that nifty bag, a seat cushion, I have journals, I have computer bits, I have stickers, papers, all sorts of things just littered everywhere. That was a little bit of garbage because with this round of cleaning I don't actually take absolutely everything off and I don't actually clean the desk because like I did that two months ago it shouldn't need it. On one hand yes I should have cleaned it off. On the other hand whatever so there are other things in my house that I would like to clean off at some point um, you can't see them but on the right side of the off screen I have a variety of shelves and while my things aren't on all of them, one of the units is basically mine and I really need to go through, purge, decide what is really worth keeping, and reorganize my shelves there. There's also a bunch of stuff in front of those shelves I need to take care of and move. Um, you see under that desk, holy cow, what the heck was I thinking? Uh, all of that needs to be cleaned up. Um, on the left side of that desk, there is a tower of white, blue, and pink tubs. There's actually another one on the bottom you can't see because there's a bag in front of it. What's in that bag? I don't even know, but I keep pulling out my little sewing kit from it. So that needs to be cleaned up. Um, any kitchen cabinets with food in them because I'm constantly taking things out and putting things in. Uh, and realistically, I'm putting things in and putting things in. Ooh, look, flash drives. I have so many flash drives in this container of money um, and a Rainbow Dash toy. One more flash drive? Nope, that's it. There's so much, the food cabinets really need cleaned out. Uh, that's one of the things I'd like to clean. Oh, and then see all of the coins from the vase that don't belong in the vase are going into the container I'm going to use for my penny savings challenge, which I haven't started yet, but I will have a video coming out on soonish. There were bugs in that. Can you believe that? Ew. Anyway, other things that need to be cleaned. Oh, my refrigerator. Um, yeah, the fridge needs to be cleaned. 
Um, there are, you can, on the left side of the screen, you can kind of find, it's not a side table, it's a drawer unit that needs to be cleaned off and needs to be cleaned inside of, but there's also two side tables next to the sofa that you can't see that are off screen on the left. Boy, it was getting hot in here. Um, both of those side tables desperately need to be cleaned. One has a magazine rack on it. It's gorgeous, but there's got to be something else I can do with that. I don't even know what I was trying to show you in that. Who the heck knows, man? Who the heck knows? But I've almost got things cleaned off. Any little floaties that you see in front of the screen, I am so sorry. Uh, cats, I have them. Uh, that's all cat hair probably being stirred up because I am cleaning off my desk. Oh, what did I just show you? I kept showing the screen things, uh, showing the camera things, and there's no way you're going to see it. I'm zoomed out so that you can see the entire desk. I have above my television on the right side of the screen, just off screen. A TV unit and on top of it oosh, that needs to be cleaned off and essentially my entire dining room is not actually a dining room it is a depository for things uh, the kids computer is in there um, my coffee table from when I was a kid is in there it's always just been a holder of things not exactly a coffee table, but that needs to get cleaned up. Oh, yes, let's make sure that the cord protector is protecting and bite it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say with myself. Anyway, so the dining room. The dining room also needs to be cleaned. I am at the point, I think, where most everything on my desk is off. As you can see, I am plugging in the computer and getting that in position. That computer is going to be there for working from home and also maybe editing, although I did try editing this video on it and it turns out I've forgotten how to use Adobe Premiere Pro. I currently use Premiere Rush on my phone to edit and I thought, nobody can read that Nikki. I thought that um, I would just hop back on and it would all come back to me. Okay, not only did it not come back to me, oh look I'm putting pins on my bag. Uh, that used to have embroidery on there with my initials and the way that you do initials on a bag where it's first initial, last initial, middle initial, I didn't like it so I pulled it out and I put a bunch of pins on the front of the bag. I don't have a lot of pins but I have enough. And they are now on that bag, which is going to become, in a later point, the bag of holding for video recording things. And that little pineapple is a gift from a friend. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? The computer. It's going to be for working at home and editing. Exactly. When I first started editing, I started with um, iMovie. And then I moved up to Premiere Pro because I had access to it through work. I thought it was going to be so easy to sit down at that computer and just pick up the editing and do all these effects. Dude, I seriously forgot the learning curve on Premiere Pro. I barely knew how to use it before and certainly don't know how to use it now. So not only was I confused, but my chair that you cannot see gave me back pain. And then the way I was sitting in the chair, because I tend to pull my feet under the chair screwed with my left knee and now I have been in pain for three days. Lovely. What am I looking at? Oh, I was plugging in a USB cord because I have the fancy dancy keyboard and I had to get my little uh, phone charger fixed. At any rate, the computer's in. Uh, we'll get the keyboard up and then I will log that thing off. Although, you know, you can't really log an Apple off it keeps turning itself back off on randomly, and I don't know why. If it's just little power surges and it's like, oh, okay, I'll just turn off now. Turn on now. This happens to me at work, too. If I leave the office for an extended period of time with my computer off, when I come back, it's on. 
almost consistently. Oh, look, the, the pencil cup of gift cards and mini USB. Oh, look. Okay, so this is one of my cats. It's S. Fluffy McFluckerson. We don't talk about the S. He's not usually this brave. They all kind of scattered when they saw the um, light going up. And the fact that he's just there hanging out is so cute. Fluffy, we love you. Anyway, uh, we're going to focus on the cat as long as he's in the shot. There he goes. Do you want more attention? No. No, you do not. So, that's fine. Oh, and look, there's my another cat, Static. He's a love bug. You can just look at him and help her. I am not exaggerating. Uh, if he was in the room right now, I could probably look in his direction. He would start purring, and I would be able to hear it across the room. He's trying to decide if he wants to go in the window. The windows have been open recently. Oh, it's been so nice. I love being able to have the windows open. Um, the temperature dropped this week, and so for almost five days since Saturday, no, since Sunday, we've had the windows open and the AC off. I mean, even right now, I'm sitting here and I don't have any fans on, and I'm perfectly comfortable. I love it. Love it. Oh, so I'm counting sleeves because I got the... Hmm. Buck. What is the name of the challenge? Anyway, dollar bills have letters on them, and then you put them in those pouches. And I only have, I don't have enough pouches. I am one short. So I might have to figure out either how to get a set that has enough, or just buy, see if I can buy one more. Or maybe just buy another set of the same kind. I don't, I don't know. Actually, it would be easier if I had different kind of envelopes without the little slidey things, because those end up getting pretty bulky. And then, not only are they bulky, but they they're they're hard to get into. And my envelopes are have a black back with a clear front, so I can't like flip them alternately. So I may try to get different envelopes from one of the Etsy shops that sells those things. It is put things back on the desk time. I put back my budgeting things. I'm still in that process. I just put back all the colors that I use for doodling and that particular item, the doodle book. I'm not sure what else to call it, the doodle book. I, what did I show you? I don't. Oh, that's the Bucks Challenge. I'm sticking it in the binder where I have some other budgeting items. It's a very scant binder at the moment, but it will grow with time. Doodle book. Don't know what else to call it. That. Oh, and this is where I finally realized um, you're filming and you're going to cut out all the sound. You can work with a fan on because I am just sweating bullets. See, I'm showing you a manifestation journal that I downloaded from I was able to buy it from someone on Etsy and I'll link that downstairs downstairs down in the description I really enjoy working through it and I have like a on again off again relationship with manifestation like the way that manifestation is sold a lot of times seems like you do the thing you wish for the best result and that then you just get it but there's really a lot of the the reason it works is because you're putting work behind it so yeah I'm, I'm working through those books and you know what with the placement of that um orange folder on the desk which is important documents i need to deal with i think i'm almost done I got my budgeting things back. I got my camera thing. My camera stand is still there for filming. Savings challenges, markers and colored pencils. I didn't return everything that was on my desk be from before because not everything really needed to be there. I ended up, I'll see in a moment, I put, is there anything else? No, nothing actually in the envelope. 
I end up putting oh up oh, yep the things I can't decide what to do with in a rainbow bag and look I am done I'm doing my best Vanna White impression wow look at these fine gifts this wonderful job that I did cleaning and that's me saying goodbye mostly because I'm silly at any rate oh so hot that I can't I'm always surprised at how warm I get from this job I had so much fun recording this voiceover congratulations to me for getting my desk clean thank you to everyone who watched and I am actually gonna say goodbye